Hello and welcome to the C++ and Science YouTube channel, where I will teach you various topics around C++. I'm your host, Andreas Fertig, a trainer and consultant for C++. Last time I presented you this code here, where I have an assert that runs at compile and runtime, despite the fact that it doesn't do anything at compile time, it's still very helpful because I can make functions constexpr and execute them at compile time that I otherwise wouldn't be able to use at compile time. Now, since this is only 50%, maybe a little more, I'm not sure, that we have here, um, we, we still lack of the constexpr assert support. So I want to ensure that this code is closely doing the same thing at compile and runtime. I start by providing my own assert that does something at compile time, so compile assert or compile time assert. And I prepare that one here. So what I do here is I'm using another element from C20, const eval. This is a const eval function here that means that this function exists only at compile time. In contrast to a const expert function, which can be executed at compile or at runtime, and even both. Const eval works only at compile time. It's a very nice feature. And my compile time assert here should only work at compile time. So this is why it's const eval. It takes the condition and the message. And if the condition is not true, it throws the message as an error, which isn't allowed in a const expert context. So I started by providing my own compile time assert. This is this function here, which uses another C20 element, const eval. A const eval function can only be executed at compile time. This is the addition to const expert, which can run at compile and runtime, or even both. The regular functions that run at runtime, now we have const eval functions, that run at compile time only. And my compile time assert here takes the condition, a string view message, and it checks if the condition isn't met, then it throws the string view as an exception here. And since that is not allowed without catching it at compile time, I have a error message here at compile time. Well, I wish because I change my assert code here a bit more. I now say if it's constant evaluated, then please call the compile time assert, passing the condition and the message, and otherwise do the same thing as we previously did. Now, while I was going for assert at compile time, what I get is more specifically an error at compile time. And that tells me that a const eval function compile time assert is not a constant expression. And it tells me the function parameter condition with an unknown value cannot be used in a constant expression. Who? What's that? I mean, it's const eval. It should run at compile time only. So in that compile time only path, condition is known. I'm executing some calculation here, thanks to Alfred in a context per context, asserting on that, so i is known at compile time. So what is that thing complaining about? The thing here now is that since assert itself is a context per function which can run at compile or at runtime, condition can either be a constant known at compile time or some dynamic value known only at runtime. But my compile time assert const eval function is only be valid to be called at compile time. And this if here doesn't do what I want, at least not successfully. Yes, it tells me in this branch is this branch executed at compile or at runtime, but both branches are technically there at runtime. And this is what causes the trouble because it's not legal to invoke compile time assert at runtime. And this is where the compiler has the trouble with. So in C++23, we got a solution which is called const eval. So we have a new if, a very 
new if because it's completely different to everything we had before. So we say really only here if const eval. I can also negate it so I could say not, but um, that's not the right solution here. I say if const eval without parents, without any condition. Okay, because this is now really only saying, okay, like my const x per if, const eval either the path in line 18, so that's the constant evaluation path, or the other one in the else branch is visible to the compiler. So this time now at compile time, only line number 18 is there, and at runtime, line number 18 is not there. Now compile time assert never gets called with a dynamic value, only with constants known at compile time. And this is the trick how you make this assert here work. And what I now have is, we can see this as before, my call to semicolon correlation with zero at compile time triggers the assert that we had in the previous episode. And once I now start activating my Robin variable here, then we can see now my assert triggers at compile time as well. And well, it's, it's not a 100% ideal or great, but we can find my error message here again and can see what triggered the error. An unfriendly message maybe, but it protects my algorithm. It gives me what I want, have code that I can use at compile and runtime. And maybe 26 here improves that such that we get a const expert print or error announcing way that would make that code here even better. I hope this helps you to see what you can do at compile time even more and maybe convert more of your functions to const expert functions such that you can get a benefit of things that can be evaluated at compile time and that you can remove some obstacles like functions that are not const expertable in full, but you can now tune them and control them such that they work. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.